Teddy Shady Blue by the Alligators, which is the band that Tilton Valentine is involved in. Tell us more about the actual band. I mean, how long have you been together now? Um, just over six months. Um, the vocalist is called Rob Kane, the bass player is Dave Coulson, the drummer is Dave Dodsworth, the harmonica player is Bruce Lowe's, I've missed somebody out. <laughs> You've been in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah, I mean, do you, do you, are you, I mean, are you pleased to be back doing that, that sort of thing? Yes, I mean, it's, I, I love playing this kind of music, uh, basically because it gets across to people and moves people. You know, it's like, uh, it's not bubblegum, it's not uh, something that you, it's not like music, something mm. to be played in sure. the background, it's something to, to listen to and reflect on. Sure. Uh, right. Okay, so the, the alligators, I'm sure you're going to do... I mean, are you sorting out a record deal? Or? Well, we're in the process of it, yes. Right, you'll have to let us know how you get on. Yes. Feature you on, a, on our rock programme here Already at Radio do. Newcastle. It's uh, 10.32, good morning, this is Jonathan Morrell here on, uh, on Radio Newcastle. With me around the table, we've been talking to Hilton Valentine, you just heard his uh, band, part of the band he's involved with, the alligators, with me... Ah, wonderful stuff. The Beatles and uh, your mother should know. Would they uh, ever meet the Beatles? Have the pleasure of meeting them, Hilton? Yes, yes. Right. We've had a couple of calls on uh, 091 232 which is the number if you'd like to call us about any subject this morning. Jimmy Allen from Sedgill says, Whatever happened to Eric Burden? My question for you, Hilton, obviously. Um, the last thing I heard about Eric was he was back over in, in the States mm -hmm. um, and working right. with Eric Burden band Mark 56 or something. <laughs> 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 but he always worked because he's great. Yeah. Great entertainer. Yeah. Mary from Newcastle just wanted to say that her favourite was Eric Burden. Quotes, he was better than Mick Jagger. Mrs Marshall from Newcastle just wants to know if that Alligators record is in the shops. Uh, not yet. Not Ho yet. Hopefully in a few months, but we'll be selling yeah. some at, uh, at the gigs probably. <laughs> right, we'll have to have your tape recorder ready next time we play it on Radio Newcastle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK, so uh, there we are. Call us 091 232 if you'd uh, like to make a... Uh, comment on what we've been talking about. Um, I wonder if we've got uh, have we got Les Briggs on the line from from Washington. Right, we were talking to him fairly shortly. Anyway, we'll come we'll come back to uh, to the alligators. I believe we have a member of the alligator fan club on the on the wireless, so there'll be somebody to talk to in a few moments' time. We were talking before <laughs> Les Briggs from uh, Washington, an alligator fan, and he's phoning I think from the White House Social Club. Les, hello, hello, good morning. Now an alligator fan. I am definitely an alligator fan. Right, right. Tell us, I mean, what what appeals to you about their uh, their music? Well, it's, it's it's got it's got feeling. It's got loads of feeling. It's very very good. Believe you me, I've known Hilton Valentine for what thirty year perhaps <laughs> since his early days <laughs> in North Shields, and admittedly he made himself known when he was with the um, animals. But having said that, his new group. The Alligators, for my money, is one of the best in the country at the moment, and it's time it was really pushed and promoted a bit more. Right, Hilton Valentine, you're never going to get out of the studio. What do you say to that? Praise indeed. Uh, first thing to say is George Fearon. He's the uh, slide guitar player who I uh, <laughs> feel <laughs> to miss when I was talking about the band. <laughs> but that's great. Thanks very much, Les. Uh, it's a pleasure, Hilton. It, it really is, because, as I say, uh, you... You've been a couple of times to our club, and you're gradually getting one hell of a following. Pardon me for swearing. <laughs> <laughs> one great following. Right. Les, thank you for making that point and coming on the wireless this morning. It's, right. We're going to hear Pavarotti. Hilton, yeah. quickly. Chuck Berry, Bo Diddley. Yeah? Yep. Right, OK. That's it. We have time for no more. I must say a big thanks to T. Dan Smith for coming on the programme today uh, for Hilton Valentine and uh, his, his fan club for being on the show. <laughs> Going to get a record deal out of this one, Hilton, from the animals. Thank you for being with us. And Tommy McClemens, editor of the North East Football Review. It is World Cup Finals Day today. I thought we cannot end the programme without something to do with the World Cup since we've talked about it so much. Here's Pavarotti and Non Shall Sleep from Jonathan Morrell. Uh, my thanks to uh, my producer and Railton House. Have a good week. See you next Saturday, 7am. I'll leave you with the man.